Hi guys. I am very tired right now. I feel like it's been a minute since I've chatted with you guys. It's been a very busy few days, very good few days. Definitely, I know my enthusiasm is very minimal right now, but I swear on the inside I'm like super pumped and happy and it's awesome. I'm just very tired right now. Had to wake up a little bit earlier because our lifting was at 8.30 to 10.30 but we had to leave for the track at around 10.45. Since we've been getting on the ice, my lifts have, haven't have been crazy. If anything, they're just, I've just been using them to kind of prime my system for sliding, especially since they're before. If they were after, maybe I'd do a little bit more, but honestly, you know, I have this week and next week left here um, before the team gets named and so my priority is sliding, and you guys know I love lifting, love lifting weights, but that's not the priority right now. So just to get touches of it, um, again, to set myself up for good sliding. So that's all I'm trying to do in the weight room and just make sure my body's feeling good. So this morning, I just did a few hang power snatches, some reverse lunges, and then some accessory work, and that was, that was it. Um, and I tried to do, or I did, a lot of my warm up in the gym. So then when I got, when we got to the track, um, obviously still a lot of warm up to do there, but I didn't do, have to do as much. So all like my activation stuff, rolling out all that good stuff I did here before we went to the track. And then I got to slide with Brittany today. So that was good, two runs. So I've slid, that's my fourth day of sliding. And that would have been, let's see, I've done in total, it was my ninth uh, run down the track, I believe. And so it's a lot more fun now. So like the other day I was super excited because I actually, so I was studying the turns of the track to be able to know where I was while we're sliding. And it's actually super helpful, not only for the pilot and the sled moving, but just helpful because you know when the turns are coming. So when to, you know, kind of brace a little harder or like which way it's gonna go. So. Um, that was really exciting when I, I definitely don't have it down back yet, but it's very exciting to, I don't know, recognize turns and know, okay, we're almost done or we're halfway or wherever it is. And it's nice to be like coherent enough now to not only like my focus, you know, day one was, I was like, I just gotta get in the sled and now I can, you know, work on more things on a technical side of it um, and not just in survival mode. So that's been really, really awesome. And the rides are getting, you know, like better and better each time. Just me feeling more comfortable riding in the sled. I really do love it. It's, uh, I mean, I can honestly say that this is probably like one of the happiest I think I've ever been. And you know, that's a, it's a really special feeling to have. Um, and I know there's a ton more work to be put in, but I'm fully ready for it and really excited for it. I mean, right now I'm just focusing on one day at a time, one week at a time. Oh yeah, so we're gonna have, um, so team trials are going to be, we're not going to Park City anymore. So team trials, there's gonna be three races and the pilots select who they wanna race with, so we're still waiting on that. And I should know by maybe today or, or tonight or tomorrow. So there's gonna be two races this weekend and then one the following weekend and then um, then a week off for Thanksgiving and then the team will be named. Yeah, but again, just trying to focus on the things I can control and do that stuff really well. Well, now I'm gonna eat. I've got, this doesn't look, I know, it, it tastes really good. It doesn't look super exciting. It's rice, bison burger, and chicken, and then some Valentina hot sauce and mustard. I ran out of zucchini. I, th I could have sworn I had some, but I didn't, so. So I just, I drank some athletic greens before this, so I feel like I got some, some something green in there. And then the new favorite, the Spindrift, Focus, maybe not. Uh, I gotta get some homework done. It's gonna be a struggle. Doing homework after sliding is rough. It's not the worst thing ever, but like, my brain just does not wanna do it. It's really helped to, uh, I told you guys that Sean, my sister, is also taking um, one of the classes I'm taking right now, and that's been a huge help. Not that, um, like we talk about like certain things, it's just nice to know I mean, I know other people are taking the class, but someone that I know 
is in it with me, so it makes me feel I want to give up less. <laughs> so even when it uh, is not the most fun thing in the world, um, you know, we're in it together, so it's, it's good. I'm gonna eat this, watch some YouTube probably, and then uh, I'll check in with you guys. Hopefully I'll have gotten a good chunk of work done, or I might have fallen asleep, I'm not really sure which one, but hopefully this will work and then I'll fall asleep. Yeah. All right, so one quiz down. There's only two this week, thank God. So one done. Next one is on, what is it? Uh, information technology careers. I can do it really want to put my head down on the desk and fall asleep. I did see a really good quote from James Clear on Instagram. If you haven't read Atomic Habits, highly recommend. I can guarantee you that if you manage to start a habit and keep sticking to it, there will be days when you feel like quitting. When you start a business, there will be days when you don't feel like showing up. When you're at the gym, there will be sets that you don't feel like finishing. When it's time to write, there will be days that you don't feel like typing, but stepping up when it's annoying or painful or draining to do so, that's what makes the difference between a professional and an amateur. Yep, so I'm gonna keep going. Oh man. The good thing is we have tomorrow off, which means I can devote a really good chunk of time to school. I'll stop procrastinating. I'm gonna finish this. Good morning. It is Wednesday and we're not sliding today. I'm not working out. Full recovery day. It's a little after eight. Hoping to sleep in. I did not. <laughs> um, so I've been up for a bit. Just had some coffee. Still eating breakfast. Had some hard boiled eggs. Still have my coffee in here. Um, probably will have more coffee later. And I'm having some oatmeal, which we got. So oatmeal, cinnamon, raspberries, blueberries, crunchy almond butter, and um, strawberry jelly. So I'm gonna eat this and then um, hang out for a little bit. And then I have some uh, treatment at 10. My back is very sore. Um, not in a bad, like just muscular, but uh, definitely want to get that worked on before this weekend. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna do that and I will see you guys later. All right, so I decided to start my Excel problem sets. Made some good um, progress. So this week we're doing, where is it? So advanced modeling and circular references in Excel. And then the next one is gonna be analyzing data with pivot tables. Yeah. But I'm gonna take a little break. I'm gonna start, it's raining. I'm gonna take a little break from this. I'm gonna get ready and then I'm gonna go get some treatment. So, first things first, I gotta wash my face. Um, okay, lighting in here is not ideal. Okay, so if you guys have been watching for a bit, you've probably seen my full skincare video with Caitlin, and if you want more in depth, why I'm using these products, how she picked them out, all that stuff, um, definitely check that video out. So first things first, I'm going to start with, so I used to have this one, but they don't sell this one anymore, so it doesn't really matter. So this is the Skin Better Cleansing Gel. There we go. Okay, so wash this. I'm gonna use this to wash my face. And then I take this thing. Um, it's by Ferreo. I'm probably saying that wrong. Why is my alarm going off? I set an alarm just in case I didn't wake up by now. Me sleeping till 9.30 is just not gonna happen. Now I'm gonna take these. Okay, anyways, these are the ZO um, oil control pads. Okay. Also ZO daily power defense. There we go. I think you can see that. So I did two pumps. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the Epion's Lytic Plus TX. One day I'll figure this out, I swear. Uh, yes, you can see it. Cool. Like about that. So a lot of this stuff has made a huge difference for my skin, especially with the amount of sun damage that I had from years and years of swimming and not wearing 
sunscreen and then also it's just really helped like even out um like any or like take away a lot of redness and i feel like that's a big reason why i would wear makeup all the time or feel like i needed to wear makeup all the time was kind of like even out my just coloring but now i feel like especially with all this stuff it's really really helped last thing is speaking of sunscreen so last in, it's a tinted sunscreen. So, and this stuff lasts forever. <laughs> uh, so I just do one pump. So I got my first bottle of that for Christmas last year. And I kid you not, I think I like, legit just ordered a new one, which is crazy. It lasts so long. That's it for, oh, and then, um, actually I need to brush my teeth. I don't think I've mentioned this on here yet, but I am obsessed with this. So this is the, I don't know how to pronounce this, but okay. So it says it's a lip sleeping mask. I just use it all the time during the day. They do have like lip balms for during the day. I just like this one better. Um, it smells really, really good. Really like how it feels. And they have other flavors and stuff. This is my favorite one. I think this is just the original one, but yeah. So, highly recommend. That's pretty much it. My friend Brianna recommended, um, started trying out some new mascaras now that uh, my last extensions are no more. Um, so it's called Liquid Lash Extensions by Thrive Cosmetics. And I really, really like this one. I think it's by far favorite mascara I've tried so far. All right, so I'm ready to go. <laughs> I wanted to show you some of my uh, battle scars from uh, bobsledding this far. So I got this one. It used to, I don't think, yeah, no, not on that side anymore. But I did find some new ones. There's like some there. I got that one. Man, I am getting real pale. <laughs> I swear I'm tanner in person. This is making me look super pale. Actually, this not, it doesn't look, it's not bad. They honestly, I mean, I didn't even notice I had them until I was looking in the mirror and I was like, oh, where'd those come from? But this one is just from loading in the sled. I actually, I'll put some, cause I didn't film yesterday. We slid yesterday. I'll put some uh, more videos, some clips in from yesterday, more clips of me actually running down the crest and like actually getting in the sled. The ones that I posted in last week's video was more of just the start of the hit. So I'm gonna head over, get some treatment, and I'll probably see you guys like around lunchtime. All right, <laughs> uh, I just finished the podcast, which was good, um, and I'm back to working, or I was back to working on my XL. Problem set, I was making really good headway, and then I got stuck on one problem. I swear, I've been rereading it, trying to figure out for the last 45 minutes. I finally just emailed my teacher because I cannot for the life of me figure it out right now. So uh, hopefully my teacher can have some, just some guidance so I can figure this out because I just don't know what to do. But on a better note, um, I'm about to eat lunch and this is what I'm having. There's some grilled chicken, potatoes, and a lot of vegetables. I'm gonna go on a walk with Kelsey and then um, hopefully I can come back. Maybe taking a break from it, a break from the screen will help a little bit. Hopefully. Okay, so I'm gonna do that and I'll see you guys later. All right, so it's a little bit later. I went on a walk, I'm tired, but decided to uh, put off that XL problem set for now. We need to hear back from my teacher. While I do that, I'm working on a paper for my other class. I'm just trying to get all of this out of the way. So by like five, six o'clock tonight, I can watch a Christmas movie and do nothing. And yes, I'm already watching Christmas movies. I don't care. <laughs> um, actually, someone messaged me and asked 
uh, when is the tree going up? And I was like, if I was home, it would be up. So, but I don't have a tree here, so. But I did want to show you guys, um, I wanted to do a little, this lighting is just brutal. But I wanted to give you guys a little fridge tour or like food tour of what the food that I have uh, in my room here. The fridge is very small. Uh, where's my tripod? Okay, so this is my little fridge. We have a lot of hot sauces. I've got this one, which I think you guys have, the Yellow Bird uh, Blue Agave Sriracha. I have my coconut sriracha, which is pretty much all gone. <laughs> um, I have the Valentina hot sauce. I don't know why I'm putting these all out. Go back in. I also have mustard, which I'm also almost out of. And then I have some ginger turmeric shots here. Let's see, I'm not gonna pull out everything. I'll just show you right here. I have some LaCroix grapefruit, some berries, got some blueberries over here. Got some cinnamon raisin bread. I have all of the nut butters and jelly. And then uh, my trifecta, I have some, oh, I was looking for that the other day. <laughs> I have zucchini, hard boiled eggs, bunch of rice, um, oh, the walnut loaf, cinnamon walnut loaf, chicken, some burgers in there. And then in my little freezer here, I have a bunch of different chocolate. I, th I don't know if I showed you guys these. These are very good. They're like almond joys, but way, way, way better. Um, I always freeze my chocolate, you guys know that. So, still doing that, well, that's not good. There we go. So the other day I went to the grocery store and I got a bunch of random stuff. I was really hungry, which doesn't help. So I got more tortilla chips, classic ones. I got more of this granola I really like. I think I only got this like two days ago and it's almost gone. I've got some Red Bull, some Monsters. Tried these out for the first time the other day. Just needed a jolt. I've got these are, I think this might be the only flavor I've tried, but these are really good. Kind of like a Gatorade. Um, I really like the orange mango. Um, and then got some Gatorade as well. Best Gatorade flavor. This one, then probably red. Yeah, but this one by far. That's the best one. So I also got these chips. I had never had these before. They are very good. And then I also got these. I don't really know why but look how small they are so they look like they'd be a pretty decent size <laughs> so little that's okay they're pretty good though i think that's pretty much it just got a lot of random things all right so i don't know this week has just been crazy i mean a really good crazy like i feel like there aren't enough hours in the day sometimes <laughs> this video is very all over the place i really do appreciate your guys' support even when like i posted on my story today about um, my Excel problem set and I said send help and people are like you can do it it's okay <laughs> so I appreciate those messages I really really do I think that's gonna be it for today um, but I hope you guys are having a really good day really good week I'll uh, next week I'll fill you guys in on what team trials are gonna look like and the schedule for that and yeah, that'll be really exciting. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.